Thank you, Chair, Mr. Commissioner, dear colleagues. Um, it's maybe not the most fierce debate that you will see here in this Parliament uh, today, here tonight, but I think with this file we are creating more financial stability in a very important market for our European uh, economy. Securities financing transactions play an important role in financial markets and the financing of our economy. I would like to congratulate the negotiating team to come up with a really balanced approach. And with a balanced approach, I really mean that the result has considered all SFT stakeholders whilst achieving financial stability. And at the end of the day, we wanted to ensure that the reporting is actually being used and useful for its intended purpose. The proposed regulation delivers binding transparency and reporting requirements in three key areas. First, all securities financing transactions have to be reported to trade repositories. And here the burden for non-financial parties, such as SMEs, was reduced by allowing their financial counterparties to do the reporting for them. Secondly, we have ensured transparency towards investors. Funds have to inform investors of their SFT activities in the prospectus, and this will enable them to assess the risk as part of their investment decisions. And thirdly, the report addresses transparency around reuse of assets. Parties had the responsibility to communicate the risks and consequences in the event of a default. And assets can only be reused within certain parameters and with prior consent except for TTCAs where the legal title has already been transferred. Another important point is that we came up with a realistic implementation time frame. We wanted to avoid the mistakes that we have seen with the implementation of EMIR and we rectified some of its shortcomings. All parties now should have sufficient time to implement the necessary requirements. So to conclude, I believe that we have come up with a very balanced approach. We have created transparency in a difficult and technical market, both towards supervisors and investors, with a minimal burden for all the stakeholders. And I therefore hope that you can join me with voting in favour tomorrow.